everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Anna Crossan. For those of you who are new here, hi, welcome. Guys, I have some really crazy news. Odin's Eye reached out to me, asked if I wanted to try some of their products, which is funny because I have tried their products. I have already bought two of their palettes. I love them. I love the consistency of their eyeshadow palettes. And they sent me the Salomon 2 collection, which I already had been eyeing for quite some time. It launched months ago and those highlighters and everything just looks so gorgeous and they're like we're gonna send you the whole collection and I was like excuse me what am I dreaming right now because I was like debating if I could afford to like buy the palette and then they sent me the whole collection and I am so thankful I have another baby now and so buying makeup can't be a priority for me right now but I will let you guys know what I would have purchased with my own money based off of now that I've used the collection and seen it and played with it. This collection is huge so I'm going to try to kind of go through it really quickly. I did a lot of up close swatches and up close product shots on my Instagram which is for the love of glitter so if you want to check those out go there. So this is mainly going to be my thoughts and using the product. In this collection you have this beautiful eyeshadow palette which I do have swatches on there and I love that they have row by row kind of a color theme and I feel like it's a good amount of matte to shimmer ratios. Some of the them are duochromes. Some of them are just shimmers, but beautiful formula as always. When I swatch them, the mattes are super pigmented. These are a little bit more powdery than some other shadows, but I think that's what really makes them blend. But my goodness, the quality, like the intensity of these shadows are just insane. And I love the shimmers so much because they're so beautiful. So love this palette. I also love the packaging. I think it's adorable. They also sent me all of their pencils. It comes in a box like this. I think it's for 50 something dollars. It came with a lot. I picked it up in the tutorial and a bunch of them spilled out, but it comes with quite a few. <sighs> I just dropped them all. It comes with 15 and you have range from colorful to your basics. These are all the colors that it comes with. I do like the packaging other than they all come individually plastic wrapped, which is good because then you know it hasn't been played with, but bad because then you have to unwrap all 15 of them. The formula is a little bit more on the drier side, kind of like the ColourPop gel liners. I do wish they were a tad bit more creamy, but the bad part about having more creamy is you go through it a lot faster too. So there's like a plus and a negative to that. I do use it in the tutorial. The highlighters to me are so up my alley. If you guys have been following me for a long time, you'll be like, oh yes, that is totally Anna. She would totally buy these with her own money. Um, they are called the Moonlight Feel Highlighters. And first of all, the packaging, so much detail in this. Just And then the print on the actual product. There's a mirror inside. These are iridescent highlighters. They are... <laughs> Shifty, gorgeous, smooth, reflective, just there's a green one, a pink one. And I really do wish I had the time right now today to go more into depth. I did do like an up close video on my Instagram, um, which maybe I'll insert somewhere here so you can see it while I'm talking about them. <sighs> they glow, they're gorgeous, they are so smooth. You see it on my face, I have the blue one on today. I can't even tell you which like color would be my favorite either because honestly I would be so tempted to buy them all. It's just a very good formula and good quality. And then there's also these six blushes which I haven't gotten to even take pictures and swatch them all. This is such a huge collection. I did use one of them today. I'm so interested to see. Uh, this is the one I used today and it looks like I didn't even use it because the print didn't even rub off. The print is on there very nicely. I've swatched all the highlighters too and the print is still there. So you get to enjoy that for a little longer than just like one rub-a-dub and it's gone. So that is a plus as well. These blushes are gorgeous though. When I applied this one, I wasn't expecting it to be this pigment right off the bat and it's very smooth. It wasn't powdery. It was just gorgeous. Like I can't wait. I really do want to take pictures so I don't really want to mess it up. But do you see this one? This one is called Sienna Lester. Um, ugh, it's like... Oh, oh my god, do you see that? <laughs> so beautiful. Oh, it's like this beautiful pinky copper. Oh my gosh. I like died and went to heaven because these products... <laughs> Thank you so much, Odin's Eye, because you guys have no idea 
no idea how much I appreciate this. Um, like I said, I really have been tempted to buy from this launch with my own money before they even reached out to me. So I am just so grateful. Okay, so if you want to see these products used on my face, just keep watching. Eyes are already primed with MAC Painterly. So they did send this cute little mirror that I'm probably going to use because it has a magnifying side, which I feel like would make doing your eyeshadow even easier. I think we're going to do a more tealy blue look today. So I think we're going to start off with this light blue called Neptune with the star in it. I'm actually going to take Soft Cloud, which is this very, very light blue shade here, and use that for, for the inner part. That's so pigmented. This light blue is so pigmented, it overtook that, like, medium Neptune. Like, I put it on top and it covered it. That, that is uh, intense, so... I might have to go back in with that color. I wasn't expecting that at all. I thought Neptune would... I thought it would just kind of blend it out, but it is so pigmented, it covered it. So keep that in mind. If you do want to blend it out, take the, take the tiniest amount, add it to the edges. Otherwise, you will. You will cover it up because it is so pigmented. I'm going into this dark blue color called Nebula. It is just a very deep royal blue. Very pretty. So everything... Their formula is always so pigmented. I'm just kind of packing, laying it down there. I don't even really have to pack it on. As you can see, I lay it down and boom, it's there. <laughs> just undeniably great it's uh, the only thing I could say is maybe not beginner friendly just because it is so pow pigmented right off the bat so um, you have to get a little bit used to that I'm gonna take the black to deepen this even more To deep space it shifts from blue to purple it's really pretty I'm gonna take my finger and this is without any glitter glue or anything I kind of want to do orange on the bottom just because why not we're trying to test out the palette more so first I'm gonna go into warm light which is this yellow I love the imprints in here I love that they don't wipe away white right away but they will eventually I know now we're gonna go into the orange which is called solar We're going to take a tiny bit of sunlight, which is this golden yellow shade here. And I'm actually just going to use my finger and tap it there. Not on the inner corner, kind of just on the inner third. I'm going to go into Starry Sky. It is this pinky shade, but it reflects so gold. So that's what we're going to use for the inner corner. It's super golden. I don't know. I feel a little bit torn between using this and like... Some of the lighter blue shimmers because there's some, especially with the highlighters, some gorgeous. They sent over this entire pack of eyeliners that I just spilled out all over myself. Probably gonna use the orange. Or should we use blue? We're gonna use blue to tie it together. Why not? That one, I do feel like you kind of have to warm up a little bit on the back of the hand. do orange for uh, the inner part or yellow I don't know off with orange I'm a liar <laughs> we're gonna do orange I don't know if these ones have is this one zero zero two so they're just numbers this one's like a really deep orange color this one I feel like goes on a lot easier kind of makes me just wanna 
cover up that blue. Let's just, okay, and I covered up the blue. I couldn't help it. So there are the eyes. Everything performed really good. I don't really have any complaints. Just be careful. I was really surprised that that light blue was so pigmented. Next, we have the cheek products. There are six blushes and six highlighters, and you guys, they are all so beautiful. On the cheek. They're just like iridescent glitter. So pretty, but smooth. And uh, just so beautiful. Some of the most beautiful highlighters. I have ever seen. Love these. I highly recommend at least getting one of them. Next, we have the blushes. I haven't even tried these yet, but instead they are coral. Ugh, I don't even know what shade. This one's like more orangey. I think this one would be really good because it's matte. This one is called Orange Sunny. Oh my god. I'm sorry. I was really excited about that shade. It's also very smooth. Like, it's so smooth. There's no powder kicking up. That's why I was very shocked just then. I was like, oh my god. You guys are probably like, what? It's blush. <laughs> the blushes are cute because they do have the little sun imprint in them. Um, hopefully I'll be able to take some pictures. As you can see, I used this one and the sun imprint is still pretty strong. But I do like this color. I, I did go in really strong with it though. But it's very pigmented and it's also very not powdery. Like it doesn't look like powder is sitting on my face at all. I mean, I might, you can tell I have a lot of makeup on because I do, but it's really pretty and I like it. This is the look we came up with today. Highlighters, hands down, my favorite part of this collection just because it's very me. I love iridescent shimmer things and from the packaging to the quality, uh, someone mentioned that it reminded them of the ABH Moon Child palette, which I totally get, but these ones I love more because it does have kind of that like multi little glitters in there, but they're not chunky. It's very smooth. Like I don't feel them on my face. They're not like spreading everywhere. Do you see that? Like it just, it's like glass, glowing glass and the packaging is gorgeous. So do I think it's worth how much they're asking for? Yes. So I would at least pick up like one or two of those if I was purchasing this with my own money. The blushes, I feel like if there's a color that you're interested in, again, the packaging, oh, they just did such a great job with the packaging on these. I think it is worth it. It's it's a beautiful product. Again, I have to try more of the colors, but I think based on the one that I tried and what you're getting packaging wise, the whole all around experience I think is worth it. So I would, again, if there's a color you're like, oh, that looks like a really pretty color, I would probably at least pick one of those up. The eyeliners, I feel like unless you really want a huge pack of liners, um, it's not a bad deal, but again, I do wish they were a little bit creamier. I think you get a good variety with this. It comes in really cute packaging, but to me, like this isn't something that I would have felt like I had to pick up my own money, but that's just my personal opinion. And last but not least, the palette. This palette caught my eye before they even reached out to me that I was like, oh my gosh, I want it. So the packaging, beautiful as always, has this little mirror and everything performed really well. Everything performed that I used how it should perform. The shimmers were popping, the mattes were pigmented, they blended well. I was just so shocked that this light blue shade took over this shade. That's how pigmented it was. It was pretty insane. So beautiful. You have this beautiful cranberry that you can add into like the fall kind of theme too. So uh, I, I I just discovered Odin's Eye when Annette did her like first collab with them and I have been impressed ever since and I am so thankful for this opportunity and let me know what you guys think and I hope you guys have a great day. Bye.